Oh, today's a rainy day. Got some maintenance to do here in the garage and the shop. We're gonna go do some brakes on the trailer. Oh, boy, so many projects going on in here, it ain't even funny. So uh, today is brakes on the trailer. All new stuff, whole backing plates, all new drums, all new bearings, inners and outers, new lug nuts, new grease buddy caps, seals, got it all. So everything I got here was from uh, Redneck Trailer Supply. Uh, you can go to them, uh, they have a web page. More than likely they'll be cheaper than your uh, typical uh, trailer shop. Uh, and more than likely Redneck Trailer Supply is who is supplying uh, Redneck or supplying your uh, local trailer shop. Uh, it's basically cutting out the middleman. Everything that I got here is Dexter parts. Uh, everything that I have here only costs uh, $513 for me to do it, for me to buy it and for me to do the work. Uh, it's very cheap. Uh, I imagine it'll be, you know, two or three times that uh, if you was to take it to a trailer shop and have them do the work. Uh, and as always, uh, whenever you're working somewhere on stuff, safety first. Don't know if you need it or not. Make sure it's good. Make sure it's here. You never know. So let's get to it. Okay, now that we got that off, uh, I got the old one off here. Uh, just keep in mind that there is a left and a right side. Uh, it's to do with the magnet arm, and they'll tell you exactly what they are uh, on a sticker uh, of what they are. So I'll just take this one. We'll go around to the other side here, and I'll show you the difference. All right, so this here would be a right side, or a left-hand side. This is the left-hand side, so this is the driver's side. Right-hand side would be the curb side, or the curb side. And as you can see, this arm is here, and this arm is here. So the arms have to be pointed to the front of the trailer. That would be the difference. So take this back over here. this set up there. Um, one thing that I do like to do on these uh, before I put them together is I like to take the adjuster off and uh, I use anti-seize. I put those on the threads uh, and then screw it back in. Um, typically if you don't use your trailer very often uh, and you only do brake work maybe I don't know say once every five years maybe um, that'll help uh, to be able to adjust the brakes having that never seize on there or anti seize on there that way it doesn't uh, freeze up on you so we'll go ahead and get this off we'll put some anti seize on there and get back to it
All right, now that the fire is out and the smoke is cleared, we can go ahead and hook these back up. So on a 7K, your wires are black and black, so it doesn't matter which one you hook up to which wire to your trailer. Just as long as they're both hooked up, your brakes will work. So we'll get those hooked up and I'll knock out the other side. All right, got the trailer all done, lost a little video on it. Yeah, that's a pretty beauty right there. We'll talk about that in just a second. But we got a white lightning in here that now uh, we are going to do front and rear shocks. And uh, I'm going to put, uh, basically build the front end on this as far as all the steering components. A uh, little bit of preventative maintenance, so to speak. Nothing wrong with what's on there. It's just getting a little loose. Uh, everything's still fine, still passes, but we're just going to go ahead and do it being that we have some downtime. So that's what we're doing to White Lightning. Got it set up. Let's go talk about this truck. So this is a truck that was accumulated, um, been a non-smoker all its life up until uh, about a week ago. Um, no, I did not smoke in it, but uh, it's been smoked in. I can tell. So... We've pulled all the interior out of it. Got new back seat. This right there. There's all the old stuff. And there. Getting her all painted up and getting the smoky smell out of it. So, yeah, looks good. Nice. You might see this in another video. All right, this is what we're changing out on the white lightning on the steering components. Pitman arm, drag link, tie rod ends, all the good stuff. Everything you see there is getting replaced. New shocks, they're not on yet. We just started, figured I'd go ahead and paint the frame and get everything cleaned up in here. This is uh, an after pit photo. And then we'll do the before. Go over the other side here. Yep, you saw my fire extinguisher. <clears throat> That's what she looks like before I paint it. <clears throat> And this is what everybody will see after it's done. So, yep, keep moving. Rear wheel well, all cleaned up, painted up. New shocks on both sides, on the rear. Well, we got the truck all done. Front ends all put back together. New shocks, all new paint, all kinds of good stuff. Can't quite see the shocks. There you go. There's the shocks. Got her all cleaned up. Of course, now that it's clean, it's raining outside, so it's going to look like shit here in about five minutes. I'm going to pull it out. But, yep, everything's good to go. Back on the road for the new year. Riding in style. So that's what I ended up doing over the uh, holiday weekends. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas, uh, a great New Year. I uh, hope everybody was safe and uh, had some safe travels. We are back on the road here real soon this coming week. Uh, we're going to start 2020 off right and make things happen. All the equipment's up and running, good. Uh, next step on the services on the truck is going to be a transmission service and a rear end service. Uh, other than that, that truck's cherry. 
Um, so yeah, like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave some comments, ask some questions. Um, you know, like, share my videos, all that good stuff, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.